Hi there. Well, I have an absolutely lovely engine to share with you today. This is a Rocket Victor Spark Ignition engine. And these first came out in 1945 and were only around for a couple of years until the design was changed and then the spark ignition engines were gradually phased out at the end of the 1940s. Now this Rocket Victor is 0.453 cubic inches or if you're metric it's 7.37 cc so it's quite a large engine and I absolutely love the design of this. Now I said this came out in 1945 and if we have a look at this it's a really nice old advert from uh, Model Aeroplane News which is dated September uh, 1945 and I just I really love these old adverts the claims they make and the, the kind of the language they use to uh, to describe the engines so that's a that's a great old advert there so anyway let's take a closer look at this Rocket Victor. So here we have this lovely Rocket Victor engine. I just absolutely love the design of this. And we can see the, uh, the timing mechanism on the front for the spark ignition. And we've got a cam here that, uh, that controls the opening and closing of the, uh, of the points. And when we've got the lever upright like this, that's at top dead center. And it'll be sparking at top dead center. If we do that, we advance the ignition timing, and if we pull it back, we retard it. So you can see the contacts just in there, as I said, that open on that, uh, on that cam. But I really like the design of that. And we've got a rear entry for the Venturi here, needle valve, and we've got this lovely amber fuel tank on the back. But what I really like is the exhaust uh, manifold. And we can see here we've got rocket motors and if we turn this over, we can see the other side of it. Like I say, I, I just really like the design of this. We've got the, uh, the patent stamp here, or a couple of uh, patent numbers. If I bring that in closely, you can see that. But as I said, I really like the, the look of these engines. And being a 7cc or 7.3 uh, 7cc it's quite a nice big engine so it'd be really good to get this running so there's just one thing left to do we need to get this in the test stand and see how it runs well I've got this lovely old engine clamped in the test stand and I'm dead excited to see how it runs in the instructions for this engine the original instructions it states a 12 by 8 prop I don't have that, I've got a 13 by 6 so it may run, it's a wooden falcon prop, it may run a little bit fast on that but we've got the taco so we can keep an eye on that and I can always change it for a bigger prop, I can sort something out. Now the, when the lever is dead up like that we're on top dead centre so I'm just going to advance it just a little bit to, to start it and, uh, and see how we get on. Let's get this thing fired up. I've never had fuel in this, so hopefully the tank won't leak from the bottom. No, it doesn't look like it is, that's good. So, there we go. Not full, but there's plenty of fuel in there. So, let's get this thing primed. Yep, we'll prime it before we try and start it. Now, my experience with these engines is they don't like to be too wet, so... Let's see how that goes. Then I'll put the ignition in. And away we go, hopefully. <laughs> wow, well that was a surprise. Just advance the ignition a little bit more. See how we get on. Just a little bit of prime. I 
think we'll just close. Maybe just to open the needle valve a little bit. Let's just try that. You can see there's a little bit of a leak around the uh, around the spark plug there, so I'm going to tighten that up and see if we can uh, resolve that because we did start to lose compression through there. It might need a, a different uh, a different washer on the plug. Very sensitive to the uh, uh, high speed, well, the, the, the needle valve uh, as with most of these uh, old spark ignition engines. Not particularly um, sensitive to the advancing or retarding of the ignition. Ignition Again, I've found that with some of the bigger spark ignition engines. But we'll get this tied, tightened up, we'll let this cool down as it's quite hot, and then we'll get it running again. Right, well, I've got a completely different spark plug in it now and uh, a, a different washer so hopefully that will resolve that issue you want to tighten these down but you don't want to do them too much so you do any damage but we'll see how that is it's cooled down now but it's still a little bit warm so we'll let it cool a bit more i think this prop size was perfect what we we were around 5000 rpm i think i can't remember without looking at the taco um, but it wasn't particularly high and these old engines you don't want to get them running too fast, particularly the bigger ones. I don't think they were ever designed really to be to be high revving, not like some of the modern engines that we're used to. So I'm quite happy with this prop and we'll get it going again in a second. We'll just let it cool a little bit more. Okay, so I've got the fuel tank filled up again and uh, we'll see how it goes. A couple of primes, so, and we'll plug this in. Hopefully, it won't be leaking around the top.
<laughs> well, that ran absolutely lovely. Still got a little bit of fuel in the tank, but I thought I wouldn't annoy the neighbours too much. Really pleased with that. <laughs> well, I am really pleased with how this engine ran. Lovely and steady, just over 5,000 RPM, about 5,300, which, as I said earlier, is absolutely perfect for these larger old engines. No point in pushing them too much. I'm not sure if there was still just the smallest of, of leaks around the spark plug. There was just a little bit of oil there, but that could be flying back from coming out of here. Um, I'll have to have a look at that, but you know, it was really small. I have really enjoyed running this engine. It runs so sweet. And what is it, a 56, 75 year old engine. And uh, what more can you ask for? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as if I've enjoyed running it.